This video goes out to Ekene Molise Adigwe. What a cool name. That, that's, like, that's like an actor's name, you know. Um, the question is about rank labels. So I couldn't get the ranks labeled to show despite using the format tool and clicking on automatic. What am I doing wrong? See attached. Okay, so I'll show you a few reasons why labels don't appear and what you can do and try to figure out if it's you or the program, okay? So we'll do a really simple test to actually do it, right? So um, let's start with the visualization. So from memory, he had... Uh, a year hierarchy, so year, quarter, and we we'll just pick anything. Go to my favorite sales, right? And let's actually put that in rows. Switch it to bars, and I think he had something like that. All right. So a few things. What I usually do if labels don't work, right? And they should be working. So for example, I've actually got sales here in the label, right? But it's not appearing. Um, one of the first things I do is I recreate the visualization straight away because what I'm trying to test is, is the compu is the software buggy or is it really that I'm doing something wrong? Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do a new sheet and, you know, obviously this may have a lot of formatting, but I'm really just testing the functionality. So what I'll do is I'll just grab something really quick. I'll just go order date, just like that, sales. And I'll just do that. So if the labels appear, then it's kind of like a process of elimination. It's like, all right, fine. Then there's a setting here that I've screwed up. Okay. One of the other things that can happen is this button here. Right. All right. We zoom in there. This is the um, like labels button, but it's kind of, it works kind of like a double light switch. You know, when you have like, you know, lights on the top of your staircase and you have light and the switch is at the top and at the bottom, you know, it kind of works like that. So what happens is right now it's, it's shaded, right? So by default, it's shaded. Now, if I don't put this in here, right, if I get rid of that label, if I click on this, it displays the labels. Okay. If I bring sales in, right, and do the exact opposite, Right, I can actually turn them off and still have this switched on. So make sure that you haven't turned that bit off. Right now, let's say you didn't do that. Right, you have this activated and you have a label here. Also, make sure that here in the label, if you go to text, you actually have something in here because sometimes people accidentally delete it. So if I click apply, you can see there's no label here but this is activated and there's a text label here. So that's another reason. So if you go into labels, click on these three dots, insert sum of sales, okay? And that brings it back in, all right? Now the last reason I can think of, well, the second last actually, of why this won't appear is if you go format here and you accidentally change this to maybe white or really small text or something that's happened in here, which is why doing that initial test of recreating the dashboard to see if it's actually the software or not because if it's the software then both of them will fail right and because this has you know very little very few things you've done to it then you know it's the software okay and that is basically the last reason which is is it the software so whenever troubleshooting not just labels but anything you do right in tableau um one of the best things to start with no matter what it's doing is to test if it's to test where the problem is so what i usually teach analysts is if something is not working or something's not doing what it's supposed to do don't try find exactly what's causing it straight away round down where it could be okay so i'll give you an example so we use um, an oracle server right to process all our data so it's a big server contains lots of data we do a lot of coding in there which processes data, which then sends it into Tableau, which then visualizes it and does all sorts of calculations, which then Tableau Bridge sends it to the Tableau Cloud, right? Now, if the results are wrong on the cloud end, I'm not going to try and find exactly where the problem is yet. I'm going to first isolate, well, is it a problem at Tableau Online? Is it a problem on Tableau, Dash, uh, Tableau Desktop? Or is it a problem in Oracle? right? Or SQL Server, whatever it might be. So let's say you've rounded down to Tableau. It's like, all right, cool. So now we know that this visualization isn't working. Well, is it the raw data source? Is the raw data source correct? Like, for example, this should be saying 100,000 pounds, right? 
So you could be going, well, Tableau's not calculating correctly, whatever, whatever. But if you go to the raw data, actually the raw data is wrong. So start high, you know, isolate, isolate, isolate until you can find what's causing it. Okay. That's usually my approach to things usually works, uh, makes it a lot easier. And you're not kind of going around in circles, looking in areas where it's not. Okay. So hopefully that fixes your problem. Um, the last thing you can do, again, I guess, is just restart the software <laughs> or make sure that you're connecting to the right data as well. Uh, one of the things we've done in the past is, you know, you use an extract, um, if you're familiar with that, and then you update your data in, you know, wherever the data source is, and you're like going, well, how come these stats look wrong? I've updated the data, and it turns out your extract is using the old extract. You know, that can happen as well, or you're using the wrong connection. So again, isolate the problem um, to help you find it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.